Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added a form field of any type to a form, you can double click the field to open its associated properties dialog box. You can then use the tabs that appear within this dialog box to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the dialog box to apply your settings. In this lesson, you will learn how to set the properties on the Options tab within this dialog box. These settings are unique for almost every type of form field. The properties on the Options tab will most often set the unique properties of the field. Note that a Digital Signature field will not contain an Options tab within its Digital Signature Properties dialog box. For drop-down fields and List box fields, you can set the list choices on the Options tab within the drop-down Properties and List Box Properties dialog boxes. You can review the lesson titled Creating Drop-down and List Boxes earlier in this chapter to review those settings if needed. Likewise, setting the properties of a button on the Options tab of the Button Properties dialog box was discussed in the lesson titled Creating and Editing Buttons in the Introductory Acrobat Manual. You can refer to that lesson if you would like to review the available button settings. For a text box field, you can click the Options tab in the Text Field Properties dialog box to set advanced properties for the field. You can use the Alignment drop-down to select a text alignment to apply to the text contained within the field. To specify a default text value to appear within a text field until the user overwrites it, enter the default text into the Default Value field. If the Scroll Long Text checkbox is the only checked checkbox on this tab, then you may also check the Field is used for file selection checkbox to allow the form's user to enter a file path as the field's value when a file is submitted along with the form. As long as the Check Spelling checkbox is not checked, you can check the Password checkbox to display the user's text entered into this field as a series of asterisks. If the Check Spelling checkbox is checked, the form will check the spelling of text entered into this field by the user. To make the text field allow multi-line text entries, you can check the multi-line checkbox. To allow the text box to scroll to display long text entries often used in conjunction with the multi-line checkbox, you can check the scroll long text checkbox. To allow for rich text formatting of text entered into this field, check the allow rich text formatting checkbox. To limit the number of characters allowed in a text field, you can check the Limit of X Characters checkbox and then enter the number of characters to limit the field to containing into the adjacent field. You can separate a specified number of characters within a text field with equal spacing and a separator line of the selected border color between each character by choosing the Comb of X Characters checkbox. Then enter the number of characters to separate into the adjacent field. This works well to display separated values within a text field for things like account numbers, for example. Note that this checkbox is only available when no other checkbox is selected. For Option Buttons, if you select the Options tab within the Radio Button Properties dialog box, you can use the Button Style drop-down to choose the style of Option Button to apply to the selected Radio Button. You can set the specific value of the radio button choice by typing it into the radio button choice field. To set the selected radio button as the default selected choice, check the button is checked by default checkbox. To allow buttons with the same names and content to be selected in unison within a group, you can check the buttons with the same name and choice are selected in unison checkbox. For checkboxes, if you select the Options tab within the Checkbox Properties dialog box, you can use the Checkbox Style drop-down to select the style of checkbox to apply to the selected checkbox. You can specify an export value for the checkbox by typing it into the Export Value field. To have the checkbox appear as checked by default, check the Checkbox is Checked by Default checkbox. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.